Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How y'all doing? So we're gonna get right into it. So today I'm gonna be doing a review video and this video is on the new Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. So I thought I'd do this video just because I haven't seen a review in so long and I thought this product launched today, if I believe, on the UK website and on the American website, which is really, really cute. So I thought, why not review it? I felt like I haven't reviewed anything Anastasia. Actually I have, I did the Soft Glam palette. Think. Um, and I thought why not review one of her well, iconic highlight palettes because I've got every single one I think I've got the Cole Guerrero glow kit actually I didn't buy the Aurora actually she gave me the Aurora one but I've never used it and I thought why not just review this dream kit so let me just put up the details before we get started so okay it's on both websites and it retails for £46 it says a powder highlighting kit featuring six ultra reflective shades with multiple dimensional sparkle so you can use it on the eyes face and body and they're a buildable metallic luster formula so let's get it popping so it is 46 pounds but if you do purchase it on the uk website you can buy the highlighting brush for 10 pounds and it's worth 26 and for all my uk followers out here um anastasia have now launched in Southbridges, so no longer we have to buy it on beauty bay called beauty you can actually go into store and feel and touch your products i think the counter's already launched but i know she's in um, Southbridges in manchester and in london so definitely go and check her out so the beautiful package came in this if you guys can see um, i've got a makeup mark there what in the world is going on and um, it comes in this really beautiful um sparkly package and hold on oh the palette's not in there <laughs> the palette's not in there and it comes with the brush let me get the palette i'm not sure what the hell is going on okay so i'm back i thought i got rubbed but i remember i took it out to swatch it i haven't used it on my face because i haven't really been i haven't, I haven't had free time to test it but i've swatched it on my arms the only time i swatched it is when i first got it and i swatched it on my hand for instagram and like it looks like this how pretty is this so it comes with the brush as well. So it comes with the A23. I've already got the A23. I love it when it's new, but mine's fanned out loads. So I'm glad we have this. So let's get right into the shades and so we can see what's going off. This is the dream kit here. I'm actually living for the um, sort of holographic packaging. It's really, really cute. And guys, just to let you know, you know how I always complain about a sweaty top lip because it's really boiling my room? Look what I've got! Oh my God, it's connected to my USB. And basically you just turn it on like this. Oh, and it feels so relaxing. It's got three speeds. I got it off Amazon. This isn't sponsored. My top lip just gets mad sweaty. It's crazy. Oh my God. So let me just fan a bit because it's so hot. Okay, let's get it popping now. I've calmed down. So this is the dream kit and let's open her up. So there are the iconic shades here. So we have Wish. Unicorn Magic, Ethereal, how do you say it? Ethereal, I'm not sure you say that. Sunshine and Regal. My favorite shade is Unicorn just because it's a really cute pink. And um, yeah, I do like this palette. When I first heard about it on Trend Mood, I was a bit like, mm, are we really still doing this? But I do think it's not your sort of in your face out there colors. Some of these colors are very wearable, like Wish and Sunshine, I could wear these as highlight colors. I'm gonna swatch all of them for you just so you can okay, see. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch, I'm gonna swatch Wish. So this is Wish here. Um, Unicorn is this one, which is more of like a pinky color. Magic is that one, which is more of a pinky kind of greeny color. Um, this is Ethereal. Those look, look quite the same actually, but this one's a bit more lavender pink. Um, here is Sunshine, which is one of my favorites. Sunshine is like a gold. And the last one is Regal, and I love the name. That is Regal there, and these are the shades. These look quite light, so we're gonna see how they show my skin tone. I'm not gonna be able to use all of them in this review, but I'm just gonna use my favorite colors from the cheeks and the nose on the forehead, just so you guys can see what's popping. Okay, so let's get it popping. I'm really excited to use the shades. Um, I think I'm gonna use Unicorn on the cheeks, which is the more pinky one. And I think I'm gonna use like Sunshine on the nose. I'm gonna, I really wanna try and use all of them, but obviously I'm gonna use my most favorite ones, which I think would work well on deeper skin tones. So let's get it popping, sis. So I'm gonna use Unicorn with this brush. And let's get it popping, okay. Let me get a brush. <laughs> I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. They feel really buttery, so let's try. Okay, 
place that's pretty. That's really nice. Can we just see how pretty this is? Oh my God. This shade is so nice. Hold on, let me just, I'm gonna apply some more. So this highlight is so nice. It's not for everyone. It blends out nicely. And what I like about it, it doesn't look like really bitty. Cause I find that sometimes with these kind of colors, they can look a bit mad on deeper skin tones. Like I actually kind of love it. No, it's nice. I'm, I'm gonna apply some more just so I can see how it builds up. Okay, so that's Unicorn. It's really, really nice. Like, sheesh. it's really blinding as well. But it's not really picking up on camera how kind of it's like a, it's like a dream world pink. I can't I can't. Can you see it? Can you guys see? The, I don't know if you guys can see the true color, but um, I'm like camera. It's not really picking it up. But in real life, it's like beautiful. It's really really nice. But I'm not sure if this would be for everyone. But I'd wear this for a festival. It'd be nice for shoots. It's really really pretty. I'm applied unicorn on both cheeks. I was gonna apply different highlights and different, different cheeks, but I thought it's gonna look a ton of bit mad. I'll just use um, different highlights in different points of the face. So I'm um, so far liking it, really buttery. I'm gonna try Regal on the forehead. Okay. That's quite nice. It's not my favorite color. Let's just see. Can you guys see that? Mm, unicorn's definitely my most favorite. This color could seem quite ashy on deeper skins. Okay, actually, let's see what these are like applied wet. So I'm gonna put some more unicorn on my cheek and let's just see if this kind of intensifies it. Ooh. Oh my god. So these are definitely really nice wet. I can definitely see as I applied um cover effect spray, it's definitely made it go. Ooh. So I put um unicorn, not unicorn, regal on there. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply some of I'm not sure these colours are really hard to play with. I'm gonna apply some of sunshine on the nose. That's what sunshine looks in the nose. Hmm. I'm just trying to think how these shades would all work on deeper skin tones because a lot of them are very pastel-y and I just feel like for me, unicorn's nice. Sun sunshine looks good as a nose highlight, but it's very bright. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try put a, 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 a regal on my chin. Let's see how that looks. This one here. Regal's nice. Oh my god, I feel like I'm like some kind of like remix of a rainbow. <laughs> now Unicorn's definitely my favorite shade. Actually love it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and put, I'm not sure what else I can use. I'm gonna try and put Ethereal on my top lip, just as a highlight. I'm not sure how I feel about this lavender highlight. Hmm, hmm, are you guys feeling it? Like, okay. So I've used most of the colors except for the lighter ones. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take some of my Cover FX Illuminating Spray. I'm just gonna try and go over the highlights to see what will pop a bit more. Okay, so I've set my face. Hmm, I'm not sure. This highlight palette, I like it, but it's not, mm, you know what I mean? Like, I love a gold highlight. And I just feel like for me, some of the shades show up ashy on me. I'm not sure. To be fair, it's a multi ooh, it's a multi-purpose use palette. So you could definitely wear this on the body. And different, you can even use it as an eyeshadow just because 
Just because some of these shades don't work for me, don't mean I can use some other places. Oh my god, I really want to put like um is it unicorn? A unicorn here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some in the corner of my eye just because a unicorn is the, my most favourite colour in this palette, literally. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so my final verdict on the palette. Okay, so the Dream palette is pretty. My favorite color is Unicorn just because it's like very, I don't know how to explain, it's very dreamy, it's very beautiful, it's very like, it's got like a beautiful sheen of like a lavender pink, it's beautiful. Um, the other colors, I wouldn't use them as much, I just wouldn't, like, I'd probably use Sunshine as an eyeshadow, but for me, if I was gonna buy this palette, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, if you really like this kind of unicorn kind of colour, then get it, but if you don't, if you feel like you're only going to use one colour, I personally wouldn't get it, but it's a really nice palette, I like the packaging, and I just, I, I would just buy it for unicorn, because unicorn for me is such a pretty, pretty colour, but it's a nice palette though, and I think it's just, I don't know, like those are the swatches there, and I just feel like, for my skin tone, for someone who isn't, I don't know, like, it's, if for someone who isn't like really into makeup and doesn't like taking risks, I'll say this palette isn't for you. But if you're like a ride or die ABH fan and you like love a highlight and you love different kind of highlights, it will be beautiful. I think a lot, lot of them would be really beautiful on the body, but I just feel like for the face, like for this now, this is kind of like a certain look. Like I wouldn't wear this in the daytime, but for the nighttime, I'd be like, <laughs> okay, I can bring it. But for the day, I just feel like, mm, you know what I mean? Maybe it'll grow on me. I think it'll grow on me, but. For the point, I just feel like a lot of the colours wouldn't work, especially for someone deeper than me. I feel like the only colour that would work on deeper skin tones is Unicorn because it's so nice, but a lot of people probably wouldn't want that kind of like lilac-y, pinky, dreamy pinky highlight. But definitely check it out. Um, if you if you have an Anastasia near you or a Sephora, definitely check it out before you buy it. But it's a cute palette, but I just feel like some of the colours are a bit like, mm, mm, okay, but um, the colours are dreaming. I have got a lipstick here, so if you guys want a separate Anastasia kind of lipstick lookbook, definitely comment down below and let me guys know what you think of this palette also because I know a lot of this palette won't be for you but I know a lot of you will probably be like, oh my god, I need it. But let me guys know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.